Green has been consistent among those three, and that's finding his, himself a spot in the starting lineup. He clears out and opens up space for Theo Pinson. Dominates points in the paint on most occasions. There you see Brooke driving big time baseline finish. Here goes Melvin Frazier right to the bucket. He averages a team high 19 a game. Hey, Tulane will have a good shot. And perhaps a victory today here in Chapel Hill. May on the drive. Hangs and puts it off the window. Fenders, soft touch off the glass by the big man. Here's Williams who drives a straightaway three, and that's pure for a 52% three-point shooter. Everything, and May comes up with it. Barry all the way to the rim, and in. And a timeout taken by Mike Dunleavy, senior. This team has eased those woes from the way they've started this game. Pinson picks it up, he's all alone, and finishes the easy bucket. Three entry pass all over the floor, forcing the green wave to start their offense out of the scoring area. And that time, Pinson went for the steal, got caught out of position, and Frazier now has all four for Tulane. May, right block. He's got to. May helped keep this possession alive with an offensive rebound against Davidson in Charlotte on Friday night. Excited about his freshman class. A couple guys in there now. The pillars of what he's building, the culture, at Tulane. He's shown he can score the ball with his back to the basket. Raise that angle and a nice kiss. Reynolds powers his way to the basket as far as contributing defensively, which, is that what they're looking for the most out of those guys? Oh, what you're asking of those players. Whoa! What you're asking of <laughs> oh, Frazier. Melvin Frazier. <laughs> Frazier with the drive, calls for a screen, and attacks behind the back up high. I don't want it all. Just give me what you owe. The emphatic slam. It was in 2013 in Brooklyn, as a matter of fact at an Under Armour event, and he won the dunk contest, dunked over his mom, Barbara. Slater for Frazier. Still no threes have fallen, 0 for 5, Tulane from deep. You have a freshman point guard and a freshman post player on the floor now, as you see Joel Perry come to the scores table. Here's the explosive Frazier. His shot turned away. I don't know that anybody's rooting for six overtimes, but <laughs> one or two is always fun. Huffman explodes to the basket. That's the play you create for Huffman right there, Mike. Going inside for May, there's no help. That's exactly what they want from Brandon Huffman. Right spot, right time. And do. And as they continue to mature, look out. The Tar Heels have everything else. Oh my goodness. Putting that basketball in the third row. 0 for 6 from three-point range to start. There's the first one. Caleb Daniels nails the triple. Young man, three ball corner pocket. Wide open under the basket. Huffman was just waiting for somebody to give it to him. Defensive man from Tulane. Huffman with two big time finishes. Daniels filling a hot hand. He's got it. Back-to-back three-pointers for the freshman from New Orleans. Get things in gear to start the year. And now, with a bevy of games this week, not a lot of time for rest. Sends it out toward us. Good save for Williams. Now he spots up in the corner, no good on the three. Play rolls around. They're going to need these guys to step up with experience, ready to compete. Cornish cans the three-pointer. Right, knocks it down. Reynolds has it. And a chance to build on this lead. Jumper from a Jang is short. They failed to do what they wanted. Williams the other way. And he gets the bucket to close out the first half. Barry gets into the double team. May waiting wide open and wearing the rim as his hat. So Luke Mays is where college basketball the great parts of it. A young man who just continued to work. We've seen him score. 17 rebounds the last contest. Everybody's always got a unique backstory to that. There's the fadeaway. Nice touch for Garrison Brooks, who's got four. With Seventh Woods out in a boot today. 
As we talked about earlier with that foot injury, plantar fasciitis, good three-point look for Cameron Reynolds. Green wave. The penetrate drive, the pass was on time. And North Carolina continues their role. Joe Barry using the ball screen, and if you don't stay connected to him, has that ability to knock it down. Reynolds steps right into it. Oops. Take your pardon, no he didn't. Baseline through the double team. And the tip is good for Shea Hitch. Reynolds goes to work. It was a mismatch all the way against the freshman big man Brooks. The season for North Carolina. You start to think ahead. Here we are, the beginning of December. Conference plays not far off. May gets the foul in the bucket. Play Tech launches a three. He's got it. Feet ready. Barry, contact and the bucket. Chance for three. To see Shea find his three point shot. Hasn't been there this year, just three for 14, and he was completely undersized with a 6'11 manly turning around and scoring. Job making the offense extend well beyond the three point line. Three point try, and that falls for Cornish. If you panic, that's where they have you. Greenway do a nice job there, moving it around, creating that opportunity. And Andrew Playtech from his teammates, and they follow suit because of the work he puts in on the floor as well. Cornish cans the three. He puts in the work to prepare when the lights are on. It was second nature when he's in the game. Great passing all the way around. Foul and the bucket.